Hello, and this is um, an image which we're going to change into abstract, sort of have given that abstract effect basically. I've seen this done in um, Photoshop, but I have Affinity Photo, so now we're going to do the same in Affinity Photo. So the first thing you do is make sure you have a colorful picture, an image like this. So that's good to go. So then next we go top menu filter, filters, uh, choose noise purling noise observe these settings here and make sure the blend mode is set to vivid light and click apply and you can see it's had an effect on the images with the black dots so I'll go back up to filters again choose blur this time and zoom blur and you can see the effects it's had you can stop there or you could go again Zoom blur, and zoom blur and do a second zoom blur effect again to give it a more pronounced um, effect. Click apply and this is going to be our base image that we're working with. So we do a duplicate here. Right click on the, ima on the image layer and click on duplicate. So we have a copy. And the next thing we do is to give it that twirl effect and for that we go into the liquify persona in the top left corner here click there make sure the divisions is at the lowest settings um, size we will need a big brush look at this brush size now we need a big brush as big as the picture the image itself so go up and just check it each time so yeah like this this brush side is good. So the next thing you do is actually quick click on the liquify twirl tool. So done that. And in the center of the image, mouse click. And as you can see, it goes clockwise and we hope to get a desired effect. So I just want to keep going a bit longer. I'm holding it down, holding the mouse down till I get a pattern which I'm happy with. And right about there, that looks fine. So I'll release the mouse once you're happy click apply in the top left corner here and then the next thing you do is the blend mode we change the blend mode to lighten and you can see the patterns appearing already so that's that there we go to this bottom one which is our base one do another duplicate and now we're going to take this into so if we uncheck this you can see we've got we're back to this again which is one of our base ones which we've duplicated so we just go back to the liquify tool and um, same brush size so we've got a big brush size click on the liquify 12 tool and if you look below here in the bottom left hand side we have drag plus alt to twirl anti-clockwise so we went clockwise the first time now we're going to go anti-clockwise so hold down the alt key and a mouse click and it should go anti-clockwise and as you can see on the screen, it's going anti-clockwise, which is opposite of what we did with the first layer. So we just keep going till we get the desired effect. And as you can see, we're using a big brush, which is what we want to do. So I will stop right about somewhere like here and click apply in the top left hand side. So we've got one here. Um, the next thing to do, blend mode must not forget that, change that to lighten. So we're gonna do a third one again. So duplicate on this base image that we're working with. Bring this one right to the top. Yeah. So, and we're going back to the liquify tool again. This time we don't need a big brush size. We only want it to affect a little area in the middle. So we've reduced the brush size. We've kept everything else the same click on the liquify 12 tool go to the center of the image and mouse click and as you can see it's only affecting the center area as we chose a smaller brush size so we keep going again until we get the desired effect and when we're happy we stop release the mouse click apply and again the blend mode change to lighten so check all three and these are the patterns we've come up with so the next thing to do is where to bring in the magic the final part of magic is adjustments so we could add adjustments here 
using levels, we could use um, split, toning, or we could use curves. So um, if you choose levels and just mess with the sliders, there's no rules here. Anything that enhances the patterns, as you can see, as you're dragging the sliders, it will either get better or worse in terms of highlights clipping and the color. So we, we just drag the sliders accordingly. And once you're happy with that, for example, you could put this adjustment into this layer. So if you do the arrow this way, that means this adjustment is affecting this layer. So we could go to another adjustment here, another layer, sorry, and choose another adjustment. So let's choose split toning and bring that in. So it is affecting this layer here. And then again, just mess with the sliders. It might do nothing. It might do something. It might enhance the colors. Can you see the colors changing there? So it enhances the colors. And that's what that does. So we could go to another layer and add another adjustment layer. This time we could choose color balance. So drag that adjustment here and it's affecting this particular layer here above it. Again, mess with the sliders and you can see whether it enhances your image or it makes it worse. So if it makes the lines come out even better, then you slide it that way and if not, you just leave it as it is. So in here again, let's try add, um, let's try add curves and let's see if that makes any difference. So if you could, as you can see the curves, brings out the lines more. So I'm just gonna mess around with the curves. See what it does there? It either enhances the lines or it makes them worse. So you just adjust accordingly. And that's basically how you get an abstract pattern from an image, a colorful image. And the last thing you do is obviously to crop. It's a good idea to only show the bits that you really need to show so i could remove it there it's his personal choice so i would crop about there and this will be my final image so that is how you do 12 photography using an image and using affinity photo thank you for watching i'd just like to say thanks for watching that and please do subscribe, like, comment on this video. Till next time, laters.